exactly. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this simple, and I'm just going to start betting. Uh, let's go with sixty. So I think this spot is sort of attractive to attack, but again, when people are using these large sizings, it makes it a lot more difficult. I'm significantly deeper with Drew than I am with, say, Ryan, uh, like I was the previous hand. but. I think when the board is paired and you're in a bomb pot and literally every single combo of deuce X is available, the value of blocking top boat here just goes down so significantly because I'm blocking uh, a hand that is very, very infrequent. And so we only eliminate basically two value combos and every deuce is still out there. And we're in a situation where like, because there are so few combos of top boat, like nobody's worried with a deuce here. And when they have a deuce, it's hard for other people to have a deuce, relatively speaking. So I think that um, maybe if I was last to act here, somehow I could find a flat, but especially when there's spades on board and I just have very little visibility into when my hand is best, I have very few ways to improve to a hand that I feel very good about. Uh, I think top pair with uh, just medium kicker becomes a fold. I think maybe we flat ace nine, king nine, uh, maybe as low as queen nine, but I think 10 nine is just gonna, just gonna have to hit the muck against the size. If it was like 20 or $30 bet, I'd be much more inclined to, to peel here, but not to 60. Once again, we have top pair in a bomb pot and hating our life. Because it's like, I was hoping it would check around to me and I was thinking I'd probably bet, you know, I'd probably bet a third quarter of the pot to get calls from 9x with worse kickers. But, you know, when he leads out here for two thirds of the pot into, you know, with five players left to act, it's like, it just screams like he has a two. Like on the other hand, I could be really optimistic and saying, you know, I don't block spades. He could be doing this with a flush draw but does he really do that in a bomb pot when anybody could have a two? Feels like it's a two. If it feels like it's a two and I'm drawing two, two outs here. But let's let's evaluate. Oh, but he's so aggressive. I know if I call here, I have to call a huge bet on the turn. But maybe not. If he doesn't have a two, he should probably he would probably slow down on the turn because I'm really like the only calling. But do I cap my range if I just call here? No, oh, but I am in position. Oh, god damn it. Well, I really wanted to fold that first hand with Kato, and I don't even think he's as aggressive as Drew. Oh god, one time, one time, one time, one time, one time, one time. All right, so I'm gonna tank for a minute just because I want the attention and cameras on me. No, I'm, I'm joking, I'm never playing. All right, so Greg could be trapping with a two, could have a flush, could have a nine. Maybe has a pair um, below the nine that just calls as well, potentially. Um, I don't really think I'm gonna just be betting again here, so I think we're just gonna Check and uh, go from there. Check. It checks me now, but turn isn't a great card because all his bluffs get there. If he has a two, he's still ahead. And I don't think it's really wise of me to represent the flush because I don't have any and he might have one and he's thinking, oh, he blocks it. So the only thing I'm really ahead of is some 9x that overvalued itself, like 910, 9, 98, 97, whatever. So I'm gonna check and try to get the showdown.
All right, let's see. Are we getting trapped again when that flush comes in? Did he hit me with the Kato? I made the flush on the turn check. Hmm. Um, I could see like seven actually kind of sucks when he had like pocket sevens on the flop he called me with. Um, eight's still out there. Maybe a deuce that doesn't have a spade. Checks turn two. I don't really want to check and be in la la land when he bets. I wonder if we could. I wonder if a blocker bet is kind of sexy here. Yeah, I don't think Greg's gonna turn too many hands into bluffs. Maybe make a calling uh, mistake here. I think I'm gonna, let's see, what did we lead 60, 120? Uh, yeah, I am going to, uh, gosh, it's gonna be so obvious though. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go hit him with the uh, 50 cent, I think, yeah. Yeah, I don't really see how I'm good in any way here. Um, feels like he's a two. He has a two trying to get something value seeing as a check back turn. I don't really have any flushes or represent any flush. So, uh, nice son. Take a stab at this one because I might just be able to take it down right here. Chips versus Kato again. We're just gonna call again. Not nothing our kicker, but we got chips. Cool. Uh, I don't really know what besides a seven or maybe a two or over pairs can continue on this board, so uh, I'm out. All right, see fold. It's a very nice turn card for me, although I still have absolutely nothing. Um, I'm gonna find out real quick if Greg has a seven or a deuce. There's about $160 in the pot right now. So we'll do about two thirds pot size. Mm, let's do a hundred. I'll do it to that. 160 in the pot. Kato bets 100. Again, nervous that I'm out kicked, but he did a. He took a similar line when he barreled with bottom pair twice. He did bet smaller the first time on the turn. I'll give him that. So, again, we've got trips we have to call, but nervous that we're out kicked. All right, well, that's an out, not the one I was necessarily looking for, but the only problem is if I check, it could open them up to set the price. I do think I'm gonna check. Checks here now, which is interesting. I'd assume some uh, trip sevens will continue betting. The question is do I check back or do I bet for value? No. Again, if we bet, I think we only get called by by better. Already made that expensive mistake one time today. And we don't want to make 
that same mistake again. So we're gonna check it back. Oh, flash draw. Is it a flash draw? No. The fuck are you doing? What? What the fuck are you doing? I had a flush drum. I had a flush drum. I can't hear you, but I just wanted to troll you with my with my muted. Oh, I'm, it was I'm, seven seven deuce, right? Yeah. And you had nine three of spades. Yeah. <laughs> I, they put made me take it to the flop. I didn't have a choice. Again, I can't hear you, but your excuses are not going to be valid. <laughs> whatever I hear, whenever I see it back, it's going to be a bunch of jibber jabber bull or whatever. I'm doing what I'm best at, which is time. giving it right back at the very end. Still can't hear you, but you know it's going to be a bunch of crap. Like I said, I respect the rules of the show. I can't hear you. Um, top pair with a three kicker isn't good enough to bet here. All right, so unlike some of the other bomb pot hands, this one is much more conducive to bluffing and it's a lot easier to sort of find some of the combos. And I think we had a really good one here. Having a gutter, uh, some other backdoor straight draws and a backdoor flush draw here, and also blocking some of the uh, reasonably kickered king x combos is pretty important here uh so we're going to be betting and i don't think we need to bet large um there's 90 in the pot i'm just going to go for 30 here 30. i feel like a kind of a shithead analyzing a bomb pot it's like we're such degenerates to even be like doing strategies in this <laughs> All right, so Matt has bet 30, and looks like we're probably, I mean, even with this, I just don't think we're doing much. Um, yeah, I just don't think we're doing much, so. So I'm obviously not adjusting well, very well to playing these bomb pots. I'm losing a little bit of money, and this is kind of a similar situation. Worst pair on the board, backdoor flush draw, but it's only 30 to win 120, so I'm gonna make the call. 30. I already know I'm gonna check, but sometimes you just have to sit here for a little bit. Make it look not so obvious. All right, so we make a pair here but I don't think it's going to be showdownable a whole lot. Uh, there are a few hands that are draws on the flop, but most of them connect with this card better than we do. Uh, so the question is, do we check and just try to realize equity, which I don't think is very showdown driven, it's mostly improvement driven, or do we continue barreling, put pressure on uh, a king? Given that there are so many King X here because he can have all of them. And given that he likely doesn't have King Queen, King Six sets and King 10 because of our blocker. I kind of like the idea of just barreling. And when we make trips, when we make two pair, we'll very often be good. Although when we make two pair, uh, we probably can't value bet. That's a little bit of a problem. Um, we do still have the gutter and we could potentially just barrel river uh, unimproved. I think probably clock give up on a heart. Um, but otherwise, there's a lot of good cards we can continue barreling on. Uh, so there's now 150 in the pot. I'm going to go for 100. 100. I have no reason to continue. I'm out. Be a good hand. I'm salivating like a Deej. Uh, there is shit to analyze, but like I said, I feel like an idiot analyzing bomb pots because we're all sick fucks for doing it. But I, I love it, but I'm checking. 
extract. What have we got? Diamonds, the king, and we have uh, something to think about here. Mm. Let's see. Check stats though, one behind. Probably not too many king acts out there. I think I can stop betting actually for value. Let's go ahead and do that. Once again, a pair. I just don't think that with this many players in the hand that I should continue. Surely I'm beat and almost every card is not good for me on the turn. All right, so again here, I feel like we almost have a hand that can fight, but I would much prefer to have a diamond than not. And with Drew betting so large, it's I think we're a little less incentivized here to attack through raises, so I'm going to just fold. Nope. All right, so I have a feeling, a fear, that Drew may be out pipping me by one again or whatever, but uh, my hand's too good to fold. Um, I don't know if I'm applying same strategies as other times to here, but I guess I'm gonna check, see what this guy, my friend Drew does, and then we'll evaluate from there. I don't know what these hand gestures are from Ryan there, but uh, let me think. <laughs> He's so funny. Um, there's what, 190-ish out there, 200. If we could value better nine again, some draws. Um, he might still have a king. I think I'm still gonna bet though. Let's go, what do we got 50? Let's go, let's be around half pot. Yeah, let's go like 90 something here. <sighs> uh, actually, no, let's go, no, five. All of ours, right? All right, honestly, I think I don't want diamond now, diamond heart, because I unbox the flush draw. So I'm gonna look at the time, and if we have time, yeah, we're playing one more bomb pot. It's gonna make me speed things up to get it in, because I gotta chase my losses, so I gotta act quick. <laughs> but I want to fold, I feel, I bet you he just has a king. Like, what is he doing multi-way without a king, dude? I feel like, again, I'm gonna just regret knitting it up to him, but at least it's, the, it's not an overpair. I mean, Am I the worst ever? Tell me you had a king. Hmm? Tell me you had a king, please. I did not have Get a king. Get it in. Show, show. <laughs> yes. Yes. You didn't fold a king. <laughs> yes. No, he didn't. I'm gonna have to see that. I had queens. No, you didn't. I did, I didn't think you were stupid enough to bet into 500 fucking people <laughs> without a king. And I had a diamond, so I bought, you haven't flushed. I diamond heart, like, I don't know, like. I thought I was value betting. I can't hear you, but you're a jerk. <laughs> I'm way over knitting to you. But buddy, I thought I was value betting. I can't hear you. <laughs> I thought I was value betting. <laughs> also getting in one more hand was legit in my head, which is so sick. Your value bet turned into a successful bluff. <laughs> Come on, come on, be good. Deuce, deuce, deuce. Sorry. I really stopped, man. Check. Okay, stream. Tell me I have five four of diamonds. Five four of diamonds. Five four of diamonds. That's not bad. We're gonna go ahead and bet small. 30. I'm tilted and I have enough to rationalize continuing, so obviously I'm continuing. You know what? Let me min click, get some of these other jerks out. I feel like Ryan's on like mega tilt here. Um, all right, I can take a hand off here. Well, this is such a gorgeous hand. If there was even just one heart on there, I'd call Greg's bet, but. All right, so. 
there, there's multiple aspects to this decision. One, DePaulo's kind of steamed a little bit. Uh, two, he probably has four or five, and we actually have good equity against the nuts here. It doesn't really matter. Um, I think Ace-10 of Diamonds can definitely call for 60 with the implied odds with uh, more people behind. I really hope Greg doesn't, um, like, back raise. Not that he would be, like, I don't know. I just, I think I have to call here. I'm pretty sure I cannot fold this in. Interesting little min click here by Ryan, min raise. Last time I saw him do this, he did this with pocket tens. He did it with an over pair. Unfortunately, he ran into Drew's pocket jacks. So is it possible that he could have an over pair? I mean, that was just one showdown. That's you know, not not a huge uh, not a huge pull for a case study. But again, I feel like I have lots of straights and flushes to protect against here with my top and bottom pair. Which I think, I think draws, hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's think. Feels like Alex is definitely gonna draw. The question is, how strong is Ryan here? Okay, no, seriously, no, if he had a really strong hand, like a pretty strong hand here, he re-raises, he re-raises bigger to protect against a flush draw, so again, feels like he has, feels like he's an overpair. I think I'm ahead. I think I'm gonna put in a re-raise here. But does anything better? Worst call. Yes, flush draws call. Straight draws call. So we don't make it too, 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 too big. Okay. I'm gonna four exit. I don't know if I'm I don't know, my, I think my full button is broken. And I don't know, this insulting little re-click back. Is he trying to play mind games? So this is the content we've all uh, all been waiting to deliver to Berkey where there's a min raise and then there's a min raise to the min raise. Um, you know, you love, you love to see it. Now it's 60 more to call. The thing is that now if I hit a diamond, my action dies. And you see, this, this is what happens with poker. You guys you guys need to learn this lesson, is that when you fold your flush draw, you bink it instantly on the turn. But when you call, you brick and and the board pairs. So you're you're fucking dead, right? So I'm in this, I'm in this cash 22 position. I think it's just like objectively wrong to call here, but uh, I'm gonna do so anyway because uh, I don't like money. So I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Why did I min? I min raised it. And oh, that is, you know, I was thinking, what would be the perfect card on the turn? And Conrad, you're the only one at this table that can hear me. I fucking love you, bro. I fucking love you. I wanna reach over the table and kiss you. Those times you've played footsie with me under the table during the past eight hours, I love you all the more for it. Oh my god. Now the question is, better check. Flush draws have to call here. Flushes have to call here. So we're gonna go ahead and bet. And now, welcome to another session of Greg figuring out how much is in the goddamn pot. 120, 120, 120, 360, plus 90, 450. I'm gonna size up to, I'm just trying to figure out what I can put in the pot here so that I can shove on the river and make it so that it's a small river shove. I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 250 here. All right, so I, I, I was gonna say, I feel like Greg flopped a straight and, and Alex has like a flush draw. And then I was gonna decide whether or not I can rip a boat and get them off it because I'm sick. But I don't know what Greg's doing now. Like, wh why, why is he, like maybe he's the one with the flush draw? Maybe as a set probably, and he's the one with the boat. And then uh, I'm just, uh, can't find a way to win this. So I needed to give up long ago. It was a long overdue give up, but better late than never. <laughs> So 
so I think that it's very obvious um, as as played. Uh, Apollo flatting the flop means that he did not have the hand that I thought he had, which I said was, you know, it could be four or five if he's min raising. It looks more now like he was just trying to meme on us and make a move. Um, so I bank the nut flush on a paired board. Uh, I think I'm dead. I'm pretty sure that I'm like drawing dead at this point, but I also don't see how I can fold, especially against somebody who is stuck and has paid off like who, who is re-jammed, you know, with, with not the nuts and getting called by the nuts. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not trying to like talk shit or anything. It's just like, I don't really see how I can fold against this opponent. That sounds very condescending, but it's not meant to be. Um, raising doesn't really accomplish anything. We could be coolering a worse flush, uh, but again, I don't, I, I, it's just like I'm up against quads or a boat and it's extremely, it's extremely frustrating. And if I call, I'm getting jammed on on any river. So if I call now, I am literally forced to uh, call the river unless like the board pairs again, in which case like it's a much easier fold. So I don't know. I think, I think it's a fold and the board pairs. He's like betting such a value sizing it like it's just all perfect it just all looks like like pocket sixes or something or pocket sevens i'm just not good enough to fold i don't think i don't even have 250 behind i might as well i think just go all in and get snap cold he could also i mean i guess he theoretically really could have the the worst flush um he's not folding a boat but i just i don't think i can fold my hand oh, yeah you have a boat right you have a boat correct I, I do yeah that's what i assumed for cameras or something I, I think he covers. He should cover. It's extra expensive for me because the cross book, him versus me with him. Oh, really? That's I'm fucked. Oh How do I fold Queens? Do I hate you so much, Drew? Thank you.